Good morning, everybody. My name is Matt Stevens. I'm a conservation biologist at the Hawk Conservancy Trust. Now, given our name, it's not difficult to understand where the majority of our focus lies, but it perhaps hides a little bit of the story because many of our staff are interested in all sorts of wildlife, the natural history of lots of different species groups across Britain. One of the things I'm hoping to do today on this fantastic morning is to get out and have a listen for some of our more common farmland bird species and give you a taste of the various things you can see when you're out and about and the things you can listen to and hear. So although sometimes it's perceived as a little bit difficult to work out what's singing and what, what birds are calling in various areas, we're going to go through some of the most common ones and hopefully give you a few pointers on how to identify them. Let's go and have a look. Now the bird singing there is one of the species you're most likely to hear during the spring and summer in the countryside. Sometimes late winter as well as they start to get ready for the nesting season. It's a skylark. It's a long running continuous song. Lots of jangly notes, usually given from a song flight but occasionally from a, a small tree or a small bush or a post. But it's a fantastic song. In the background here, you can maybe just about be able to hear rooks over my left shoulder. There's a song, thr uh, song thrush down in the village and a black cap. An occasional harsh call of a pheasant and a red leg partridge. But we'll go and find some of those in a moment. Now you can hear just over there, and it's just stopped. A wren singing, a tiny little bird, not our smallest, as everybody sometimes thinks. That's a gold crest or a fire crest, but got a huge voice. And it's an explosive song that you'll hear in lots of different places, lots of different environments. And sort of open grassland with small tufty bits of grass right the way through to thick woodland. You can just make it out there, it's a bit hidden. The very harsh call then was a, a pheasant, and you could hear it flapping its wings as well, just after calling. Right, there are a couple of things to hear there. Um, there was one bird that was calling continually, or continuously, um, with a pattern of repeated phrases. So it would do a couple of whistles, then repeat those whistles, and then do another phrase and repeat that phrase, and do the same thing over and over. And that's a song thrush. It's still going now. It does a whole range of calls, uh, songs, and different phrases within that song but it always repeats the phrases. Sometimes twice, sometimes three times. Also in there you heard a couple of stabs from a woodpecker, a great spotted woodpecker at a tree. Um, to the right, I don't know if you can pick it up, before was a, a coal tit giving a sort of wee choo wee choo wee choo call. And there's the widespread great tit, which is more of a teacher, teacher, teacher. That's a much stronger song, slightly deeper in pitch. You can hear it there, do more of a pity chair, pity chair, rather than a teacher, teacher. But, but that's a great tip. I'll hopefully pick up a bit more as we continue along past the wood here. Now you can hear a couple of the birds we just talked about here. There's a loud one to the right hand side, which is the wren. It's an explosive, loud, long song. And at the back there, 
you should be able to pick out the repeated phrase of a song thrush. That was it then. Uh, So there we go, you could probably just about hear the chiff chaff in there and there's regular songs of wrens. Now there are a few different calls in there, the harsh tick 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 one and the blackbird alarm calling. That most recent one is the wren again. And there's a robin over the top. But it's quite difficult to pick up. Now that we're near the end of the wood, you can just about hear the chiff chaff singing. Just very obvious chiff chaff song um, there's also a, a song for us singing at the same time repetitive phrases again in fact there are two song thrushes singing one over this side and one more towards the barns up there Oh look, there's a red kite just about to pass me by. The song thrush up here is much clearer. A flock of linnets there as well, also flying from the stubble field. There are two song thrushes almost dueling now. So there was a wren giving a call, and just in the background there was a chaffinch as well, a dif descending sort of jumble of notes. We just move up, hopefully we can find it. There goes the wren, he's very keen on saying, staying centre stage. So you heard the chaffinch then, it's a descending run of notes finishing with a flourish it's just flown across over there another wren's still giving it some <laughs> and so is the song thrush i don't know if you can see just down there but by on the post a bit difficult to see is a barn owl just by the telegraph pole there We're not going to hear him 
or her screeching, but who knows if we get a little bit further on, it may stay there. Oh, getting a bit twitchy now, there we go. It's a bit of an added bonus. You can hear a robin singing. Still with the background of the song thrush singing as well. But that song sort of continues all through the year really, sometimes into the night, um, but certainly starting quite early in the year. So that one there was the white throat, a harsh sort of scratchy jumble. But also across here are a few linnets with quite a nasal and <laughs> scratchy call as well. Quite similar, but just along the hedges here they nest in these blackthorn and hawthorn hedges either side of the road. So far today we've had skylark, wren, Song thrush, chiff chaff, um, white throat, linnet, a barn owl. Oh, just over my shoulder there, you can hear a lapwing. Sounds like a kazoo. Continuing back down the road now towards the village, see if we can pick up a few more things. I'm hopeful that we should get missile thrush, perhaps black cap. Right, in the background there, you can just about hear a missile thrush. It's got a rambling, sad song. You can also hear a wood, ping, wood, wood pigeon giving its call as well. Again, forgive my whistle, it's not, not particularly good. <laughs> but it's more to give you some idea of how the, the timing of the call goes in the song. The missile thrush is now flown around and is in this oak tree. Everything's just started happening now with the blackbirds, the rooks all going very noisy, the jackdaws and the blue tits. You can hear the missile thrush up there, even louder now. Blackbird singing to the right then. A bit more tuneful than a missile thrush. And the descending call of a, oh, descending song of a chaffinch as well. Now obviously there were more birds singing and more species calling than I could get across to you on these videos, but hopefully it's given you some idea of the things that you can see and hear if you get out and about for a walk today in your local area. So good luck with that, and hopefully you'll be able to pick up some of those wrens, song thrushes, and missile thrushes and chaffinches. Good luck. Bye bye.